How's it going everyone? Welcome back to one of my legendary crafting videos. Today more specifically a re-rolling video of the Elder's Mark SMGs. This SMG is one of the event rewards uh, from Beast of Burden. The event just recently dropped and we're collecting a bunch of goodies and named rewards. The difference is this time around we're ac actually able to re-roll some of these named rewards so without further ado let's see what we get. Okay, so the Elder's Mark is a furious, faster, fire rate, faster reload weapon. I'm going to sit here and reroll it a few times. I was a huge fan of the Love Tap in one of the recent updates. A reward from Tunnel of Love. It was a Vampire's SMG, kind of dressed up, more Tunnel of Love themed, more Nuka World themed. Uh, this one, I like the etchings on it. I'm a fan of some of the cultist things we were given to uh, with the rewards, but... I'm going to reroll this a few times, see if we get lucky. Um, Anti-armor, bloodied, vampires, quad, those are probably the ones that are most useful to me. I'm only going to roll this a handful of times just to see what we get. If we get lucky, if it starts to maintain potentially the weapon speed, the reload speed, or if it just completely will reroll it. Let's find out. First roll, we got instigating. The other two rolls are changing, so it's not going to hold on to any of that. Second roll, an Aristocrats, Break Slower, Troubleshooters, no thank you. Let's roll it two more times. A Quad Limb Damage Perception, I think I'm going to leave it on this one for now, just to see how that goes. Uh, I don't know if in future patches they're going to make it where you can't reroll these. I can't recall if in previous updates when we received any kind of named weapon we had an option like this and then they fixed it so for today's let's say testing out and sciencing out of things I'm pretty happy I'm gonna try to collect a few more of these elders marks uh, and see if maybe again vampires anti-armor bloody I can get lucky I'm sure some of these will also sell well considering they are tradable so if anybody is out there rerolling some of these on your own good luck and if you're looking for a particular rolls yeah try to get them while you can you never know if that gets updated out I didn't see any notes in, let's say, the patch notes or update notes mentioning rerollability with some of these things. But So we're walking away with the quad elders mark. The perception for me, I honestly would have rather had agility, something like that, that might have actually added more to vets as opposed to some sort of percentage of accuracy. The limb damage I like, I've grown to like more as kind of just a raw addition of uh, DPS, especially if you're aiming for limbs. Now, in terms of quad... I like the fact that it's quad, but at the same time, I'm not sure if this is going to be the utility I'm looking for. Utility in terms of not necessarily pumping out DPS. I do like quad weapons, I do like vampires. I already have a vampires in terms of the love tap, but if I can roll better than the love tap, maybe that'll be the goal. But I do hope you guys found this informative. Keep an eye out for more videos like these. We got Oga gauntlets and other things to roll from the new rewards in this new update. If you are not subscribed, be sure to do so. Check out the channel for more goodies, Fallout related. If you're on Xbox, come join us. If you're on Twitch, we got streams and adventures throughout the week. And until next time, take it easy, everybody.